Welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time. My name is Ethan. Winter's back. Got all kinds of snow. Well, not really, but a little bit. Always a little bit of snow in late March, I guess, to keep things interesting. There's Indy. All right, so we're feeding cows now. Fed grain. Tomorrow, two cows are going to the market, and one of them is this one. Her name's Alice. So, um, this is one of my 4 H calves, actually. I think, what, she's gonna be five years old in April? So, 2018, she was my 4 H calf. So, yeah, this is Alice. She'll be leaving, she wasn't pregnant, so can't keep her. I'll get more into detail about that in a second, but, yeah. It's a nice cow, but. This is the other cow that's gonna be leaving tomorrow. Her name is Diana. I think she's six or seven years old. She's also not pregnant and she's not milking enough. She isn't really that friendly, so. Won't be able to pet her too much, but. Yeah, Diana's leaving tomorrow. Nah, don't worry, this one's not leaving. This is Dorothy. This cow is our oldest cow. I think she's gonna be turning 10 or 11 years old this year. So, she's getting up there, but she just keeps doing what we need her to do, so. Sometimes cows don't make it to 10 years old and sometimes like Dorothy they'll make it to 10 years old it's all I'll get into further detail in the next clip once I'm feeding but or once I'm putting halids in but yeah so waiting waiting for corn to get in all right so we got corn silage going in the TMR mixer right now so I got time to explain about them two cows so they're both not pregnant they won't I think we gave um, each this over five tries or six tries. So those cows aren't gonna get pregnant again. So we gotta ship them out. This like cycle of life sustainability, we can't afford to keep a cow that's not gonna be productive. So a cow needs to have a calf in order to continue to produce milk. So pretty much. Yeah, cow till she won't produce any milk till she calves. So they'll calve for the first time at two years old. And then we'll milk them for two or three or four months and then we'll breed them back. It really depends. I don't look after breeding, but we'll milk them for a little bit, we'll breed them back, and they'll catch and hopefully the first few services. And if they do then we milk them till about two months before they calve. We dry them off so they go to the heifer barn and they get to go outside the pasture for two months out of a year. Then they calve and they're milking again and then that cycle repeats. So we do that until a cow doesn't get pregnant again or something else happens, her legs won't last, something like that. And then when that happens, we gotta make a decision, we gotta sip them out. So with the case of those two cows, like I said, they weren't pregnant. So we milked both of them for, I think, the one was milking for, I think, a year and a half. Now, and what they start to do is they start to put on a lot of weight because they're eating TMR, which is meant to help them produce milk and to gain body fat and to help grow a calf when they're pregnant. So if they're not growing a calf and they're not producing a lot of milk, they put on like fat, a lot of body weight. So then you get a fat cow and that's hard on her legs. So you can't afford to keep a cow around that isn't producing milk. So we gotta sip them out. They become lean ground hamburger meat. So, but yeah, Alice was my forage calf. A little bit of a special bond there, but I mean, it's a cycle of life and you gotta live with it and how it goes, but yeah. So, I just took the load of manure to the field and cleaned the spreader. 
this tractor we got it back yesterday there'll be a video on that i haven't actually edited it yet i was a little bit behind on that but it's running phenomenally well the cab blowers are working this thing is like well it's it's not clean in the cab or anything it's not clean on the outside but it's running good and that's what we like so we got heat again uh, the only thing that isn't working is there's an armrest right here on the left hand side that came off a while back and I can't find the pin for it to get it back together but it's not knocking anymore burning clean and all well, you can see I'll show you for yourself like it revs so much quicker that doesn't lug anymore it just rolls like yeah sounds a little bit different too anyway so it's running well at the moment knock on wood something shouldn't happen to it and we'll be ready to go for this current year but it does sound a little different but um could this be that one clamp for the exhaust i noticed was put on a bit crooked but i'll keep an eye out and see if anything happens and if not maybe that's the way it sounds now with new injectors but yeah can't complain the power that this thing got now is just unbelievable got the window open the side one so you can hear it going but, like it's just just doing what it should so. yeah really nice to have this thing back All right, so them videos of cats or photos of cats rather I was just showing are all from three mothers and they all look the same. So the mothers were all siblings and now they're all raising their kittens together. Well, there's actually four of the same cat or same kind of colored cat, four siblings that were all sisters. So one of them is raising kittens on her own and the other three are raising kittens together so all those kittens you just saw I think there's around 10 so I didn't get photos of them all but there's nine or ten kittens between three cats and they're all raising them together they're all doing really well they're a few weeks old now so the pictures of the mothers would have been or at least I'm planning to put them at the very end of that slideshow so yeah that's what we Got four cats that have kittens right now. All right, so it's the next day now. I realized I forgot to film an outro for yesterday and I haven't edited the video yet. I'm currently finishing up feeding cows, so that's what's going on in the background. But tomorrow night, I'm hoping, I think I might have my drone now because tomorrow night's Friday night, so I'll be at church and uh, we've been building model rockets. We're gonna launch them. Well, we need a good way to find them back. So if I have my drone out, I can find the model rockets back. So 
at the end of tomorrow's video, there'll probably be just a segment of drone flying if I record it. If not, well, I guess, I guess there won't be that, but we're going to launch small rockets either at my place tomorrow or at the other guy who I'm a counselor with his farm. So there'll be that at the end of the video. But that's all for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. God bless.